y'all. So, I don't even know how to introduce the next folks because, like, it's my sister over here. All the way here from Oakland, California. Um, an amazing fighter, frontline folks out at the, uh, the Wood Street encampment. I'm going to introduce uh, Poverty Scholar and the Poe Poet Project. Can I get some uh, call response? First of all, how you doing, Cap Resolution? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So I need a little, we need a little call response for this opening chant that uh, is dedicated to y'all. So when I say land back, you say land back, okay? When I say black land, you say black land. And then we'll do that twice, okay? Here we go. Land back! Land back! Land back. Black land. Black land. Black land. Black land. Houseless people housed instead of swept like we are trash. The time is now for the revolution called Camp Resolution. Wealth hoarders, close borders, politricksters, and scam lord orders. So there's no more brick and mortar for our houses sons and daughters. The time is now for homefulness. The revolution is camp resolution. We don't need your tiny tombs. We need Wood Street Commons. One more time. Land back. Land back. Land back. Land back. Black land. Black land. Black land. Black land. The time is now for Camp Resolution. Hey everybody, we're the Poor Poets Project of Poor Magazine. Uh, we're also poor and houseless people ourselves. So there's only two of us today because we're all so stretched by these settler colonizer uh, brutality that's happening to our relatives in Oakland right now. So I apologize because we're a village that's really big. But so many of us are holding on by a thread trying to build a homeless people's solution to homelessness. We call home fullness. Ours is a little bit different, uh, but it's all in the same way, which is that poor and houseless people have our own solutions. Can I get a witness? Yeah. It's called Camp Resolution. Hey, it's called homefulness. It's called Wood Street Commons. But these settler colonial governments aren't trying to listen to us. So we start with something we call our slam bios. I'm going to ask my brother Israel to kick us off. Hi, everybody. My name is Israel. I'm a former homeless. I've been in the streets of San Francisco for a long time. Now I'm home for this in Oakland. This is for all the people they're looking at us up and down and they don't know why we come to Sacramento we come to Sacramento to support indigenous black and brown to take their own town oh I'm a poverty scholar that houseless mama that houseless daughter I'm a poverty scholar all those people they don't want to see, never want to be, look away from me. What you going to do, Sacramento? Arrest me? We're in your motherfucking city. Yeah, I'm a poverty scholar. I rock my jailhouse attire, not because orange is the new black or any crack. Hollywood always sell you that. It's because me and my poor mama did jail time for the poverty crime of being houseless in this occupied indigenous holler. I'm a poverty scholar. The melanin challenged daughter of an Afro equal mama for without whom there would be no me, a mama soltera and a welfare queen. I want to say that um, as me and Israel are coming up here and, and standing with you all beautiful people, that we know that behind this liberation is so many days of tears, of struggle, of never giving up, and of continuing to fight. So I want to shout out to all the warrior comrades who are here. I know ATPT's in the house. 
I know that uh, punks with lunch are in the house. I know that the warrior comrades who are up here at Sacramento Homeless Union in the house. <coughs> and I and I want to just lift up the fact that separate, we're nothing, right? Separate, we're holding on by a thread, hoping we're not going to get the next eviction notice or pink slip or red tag or green tag or any other tag the settlers want to give us. But together, we're strong as fuck. <coughs> I also want to give you a report back we came from occupied Salish territory, uh, what I renamed Chief Seattle because they call it Seattle, but there was no T in the Duwamish language when they stole that beautiful land from the Duwamish people and destroyed the elder warrior, the chief, <laughs> and then called it Seattle and turned it into a tech, uh, a tech dripping nightmare of gentrification. But anyway, our relatives from up there are saying, yo, we love you Camp Resolution. They've created a thing called Nicholsville. Y'all gotta peep that stuff. Because Nicholsville is also a poor people self-governed movement taking back that stolen land. And so it's real important for us to also know each other, right? For us to connect those dots. We are not alone. They would like us to feel that way, but we are not. So, so much love and power to y'all. Also, I just wanted to say that in this, in this work, right, this work to, to liberate ourselves, one of the things we talk about at Poor Magazine and home fullness is the idea of unselling Mama Earth. And so I'd like, if you will, and I don't know, because I know that you guys probably already did this, but I'd like if we could, if you could join me in a prayer. Um, and so this is not necessary. If you can't physically, don't worry about it. But if you can reach down and touch Mama Earth. Thank you, Creator, for another day of life. Thank you, relatives of the Maidu Nisinan, on all the relatives of all the occupied nations who are in this territory for taking care of Mama Earth so well that we could still be here for inviting in these relatives. Thank you to every single one of the warriors at Camp Resolution who did not give up no matter what. And some of you who might not, who might not even be here now, right? Thank you to every single houseless brother and sister who has died because of the lie of capitalism and homelessness and scarcity for walking with these warriors here. Thank you to all our spirits and to all our grandmothers and grandfathers and thank you to Mama Earth for without whom there would be no us. Thank you family. I just want to lift up this the prayer energy, right? Because we know that it's many different things when we're trying to fight these systems. Um, I have a lot. I'm a poet, as you might know, and I'm not going to read very much because it's, I have a lot. But, <laughs> but I'm going to read a one that I actually wrote for our warrior relatives down in Oakland, who I know that you know right now are struggling with that violence of sweeping us like we're trash. Who are barely holding on and who we stand with every day. And this is for them and for all of you and for all of us at Homefulness and Poor Magazine and for every single person who is not even right here but we know are holding on by a thread. Evicted, swept, and kicked. Evicted, swept, and kicked. Cause settler towns like this don't give a shit. These aren't homes, these are tombs. Six by 10 boxes cause lives like ours aren't listened to. Tiny homes, solutions they call it. Death, terror, and isolation. We saw it. We had dreams, we had love. We had come unity, Wood Street Commons. Free stores, kitchen, 
healing spaces all open to live in held up with love from our other broken brothers and sisters who knew the pain of being alone when you have no home, when you have no love, when you constantly forced to roam with not a roof or a rug. Nah, Settler, we don't want your tiny tombs, I mean homes, your cabin in a cage with bars and security guards. that fill our traumatized lives with more trauma, more scars, rather than open space for our broken mamas, open space for our, to heal our trauma, visions that work, camp resolution, our dreams we built from our hurt, from our sorrow, our poverty scholarship. Not a grant, an RFP, or more non-profiteer promises of housing tomorrow evicted, swept, and kicked. The settler towns like this don't give a shit. So-called Oakland, Uchen, Frisco, Yalamu, Tonga, and LA too. Seattle and Lenape, Pueblo and Flagstaff and so-called Colorado. Billions of dollars, more laws to sweep us away because crap of scarcity built this poverty built this lie called homelessness, this fake excess, this endless idea that having more means you made it. So I'm looking, lifting up solutions. I'm lifting up love. I'm lifting up camp resolution. I'm lifting up Broad Street Commons. You sweeping a homeless people solution, Paula Trickster, you a robber. You had a chance, Oakland but you acted like a man. You had a chance, Oakland. Progressive city, my ass. Evicted, swept, and kicked, because settler towns like this don't give a shit. Thank you, everybody. I'm gonna, I'm gonna thank you, family. I'm gonna do one last one for the mamas and the grandmamas and the aunties and the uncles who have to act like mamas. And how many mamas in the house? How many mamas in the house? There we go, there we go. Okay, okay. That's what I, this is all for you, baby. This is all for y'all. Wait, hold on, let me give this to you. Okay. Thank you, hon. Um, this poem is in honor of homeless mothers and poor mothers. Low wage mothers and no wage mothers. Migrante mothers and incarcerated mothers. In other words, this poem is in honor of DHS'd with, CPS'd with, and most of all, system messed with mothers. This poem is in honor of all those poor women and men, and yes, I said man, because don't sing me that song about gender again, who fight and struggle and steal and beg in every crevice and corner to keep our kids in a bed, who dress and feed with tired hands who answer cries over and over again, who can barely make it, but sometimes do, and still raise all the world's people like me and you and you. Can I get a witness who can barely make it, but always do, and still raise all the world's people like me and you and you. And that's for my mom and Dee for without whom there beat on me. I love you, Cap Resolution. Hey, how you doing? She's good. She turned it off and everything. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hello, everybody. For people that don't know me, my name is Adam. I'm part of Anti-Police Terror Project, MH First, and now, Sing. I want to talk about those three organizations separately because um, they are separate organizations. Sing's a harm reduction organization. Right now we are out here with free take-home HIV tests. They come out of the store at about $50 a pop, but we want to give them to you or anyone you know so you should know your status. That's some real shit, right? You should know your status. We also have 
all harm reduction services, uh, free Medicaid program referrals. And we have uh, a buprenorphine at, at the plate, not not here with us now, but we also have uh, all, all supplies and services that we can do here that we have the ability to do. We will do. Um, APTP Anti Police Terror Project started in Oakland, California, by uh, by three. Uh, African American individuals, Cap Brooks, Terha Ock, and Asante Wa Boykin, about 15 years ago, around the Oscar Grant situation, we've been a police accountability uh, organization um, before and after Black Lives Matter, right? So, like, when people talk about, oh, everybody's a Black Lives Matter activist, people have been doing this work and organizing around this work since before the Black Panthers, during the Black Panther movement, and today. So we should not erase all the people that do all the work and just call everybody one thing. We are we are not we, nobody is monolith. Black people ain't monolith. One gay one type of gay person is not monolith. We are individuals in, uh, uh, upon ourselves. So to, and to talk about image first, we, in anti police terror project, we realized that 80 percent of the people that were being killed by police who were unarmed were having a mental health or an acute emotional situation. So we created a. We got a bunch of doctors, nurses, mental health workers, and individuals with peer counselors, trained them up to be a response team and a advice line that is open from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, if you want to know the number is 916-670-4062. If you're wondering about that number, we'll be glad to give it to you. We have paperwork right over there, right in front of the, uh, the, the really nice RV. And I want to talk about accomplishments because when I first came here, y'all have accomplished a lot. The, 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 the camp resolution has overcome uh, uh, miles of traversity, bullshit politicians, you know what I mean? And, and, and kept it rolling, being positive and accomplished great things that other people in other camps have not been able to do. You are breaking new ground. You are pushing the needle. You are making things better for all homeless people by impacting yourselves as homeless people. Being the most impacted community, be, be, being out here being mostly women, women of color, queer women, you are the most at risk impacted people and you are helping yourselves to liberation. It's one of the most beautiful things I've been able to see and I'm really proud that I've been able to see it. Thank you very much and please go to any of these tables and we'll be able to help you out in any way we can. Thank you, have a nice day. Real quick, I forgot, they wanted me to announce the people making the, um, the icy flavored drinks over here, they are doing it for free. People keep thinking like, oh, like no, they're, they're like a lot, like most of the people out here. The really good free food over here. The really good free food by Punks with Lunch. There's a lot of good food around here and, and free dessert right over over to my left. You're right. Hi everybody, I'm Sarah Rywich and I'm a local musician, songwriter. I'm going to get started in a minute, it's just going to take me a second or two to set up.
get a quick level here. Oops. All right. Let's see. All right. How's that? Okay, great. Thanks so much, Adam. All right, again, I'm Sarah Rywich, and um, I'm just a local person here. Write some music. I'm going to share some of that with you. Um, I have a very specific song for the end that I wrote um, just for today. Uh, last time I was here, I was in the middle of writing it, and I promised Sharon uh, and Joyce and uh, Jeannie that I would finish it. So I did finish it, and it's to commemorate uh, Camp Resolu Resolution's 200th day. So I'm really excited to share that at the end. And these are all just songs that I've written. Um, 